How are you doing folks? It's Joe Valio here for Cold Clear Sports on Tuesday morning with uh, two selections for today. And we'll kick off with the 3.35 at Cork, a horse called uh, Notre Bell Beta. He's a great colt. He's by Zophany out of a Dark Angel Mare, so the bit of rain down in Cork uh, today won't offset this last chances too much, I don't think. He has a bit of form of cutting the ground as well anyway. Uh, so let's just go into a bog. I'm sure he'll be fine. He was withdrawn one time because of uh, heavy ground, but uh, in the hope that it's just kind of on the soft side of good. I think this lad has every chance today. He's trained by David Bunyan, who trains up the Curra. He's a very astute trainer. Uh, he's had, you know, he's no stranger to training good horses. He's trained um, a horse called Hit the Bid, who I think he done very well a few years ago. And this lad is ridden by Christy Hayes today. So, um, yeah, he's been highly tried in the past. He's run a listed level and a group level. So uh, this is a big drop back in class today. Coming back, uh, first time tongue strap. So it's it's a possibility that he's had a wind operation. Uh, we'll have that ongoing problem in Ireland that they don't actually tell you whether a horse has had a wind operation or not. It has to be declared over in the UK, as 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 as, as I've said before, but it doesn't have to be uh, out in the public domain in Ireland for some strange reason. But uh, anyway. That's uh, Natra Bell Beta. Uh, he's around 9 to 4, 5 to 2. I'm going to make him a point win there. He must have every chance. And uh, just some of them with bits and pieces of chances. But uh, all in all, stepping back to seven furlongs, this lad was very strong over a mile. Well, he hit the front of, say, two furlongs out over seven furlongs in, or a mile in Leperstown and uh, just got caught there at home. So I think he should be strong at this trip, seven furlongs. And then um, my second selection of the day comes in the 5.20 at Selfield. It's a horse called Harry Dark. He's uh, trained by uh, Nicky Richards. This is the lad's first time out in a bumper. He's going to be ridden by Sean Quinlan. I don't usually tip first time out horses, but um, they're going to get plenty of rain in Selfield today, and the ground is definitely going to go soft. I think that's going to be totally against the second favourite. Who is by uh, Dion? Dion is usually uh, don't like soft ground that much. You know, they're good ground horses, so uh, that'll impede his chances. And the third and fourth favourites performed wouldn't be at especially, you know. So this lad wouldn't have to be any star to go out there and make a winning debut. Nicky Rich's horses, you know, have been running okay, and he's well used to uh, producing first time out winners. So that's Harry Jark. He's a he's by Diamond Boy out of a Cadudal mare. Now Cadudal obviously uh, sired, you know, such horses as Long Run and Big Bucks and Fidalco, all of them really serious and seriously good horses. So and uh, on obviously on soft ground as well. So look, this lad's bred for the job. I'm surprised uh, he's as big as five to two in the place. And he's he's nine to four there, five to two. He's probably put in a bit conservatively on the prices. You know, he was six to four, seven to four last night. As I say, now he's out to nine to four, five to two, and I think he's worth a bet at that. If he had a set under two to one, I put probably would have let him off. But the fact that he's out to nine to four now, two to one, I think uh, he's definitely worth a two point win there. He's a horse, as I said, that's his bred to be good, uh, but he wouldn't have to be much good to, you know, go very close today. Uh, so there's my two for today. Uh, Going to take it handy enough early on the week. You know, the, with the rain is around now, the ground is, the weather is very changeable. So that means obviously the ground is going to be changeable as well. So, you know, that's a bookmaker's wet dream, really. You know, the when the ground changes, the the results do be funny a lot of the time and uh, the form book goes out the window. So it's going to be very uh, much taking our time, uh, same as last week, just taking it easy, easing our way into the new week. And then... Uh, Towards the end of the week, maybe uh, get a bit braver and get stuck in. But for the time being, I certainly uh, won't be uh, sticking the neck out too far. So, yeah, there's the two for today. Hopefully, one, if not two, of them win and uh, sets us up nicely for the rest of the week. So, it's Joe Value for Cold Beer Sports on YouTube. Thanks for following and I'll talk to you tomorrow. All the best.